everybody. This is John Lamazny, and I am beercritic.wordpress.com. I'm uh, looking tonight to enjoy Amagong's Abbey Ale, uh, which is a Belgian style Abbey Double. And um, I'm going to enjoy that in a uh, Trappist glass. You can see here that it is 8.5% ABV. And I think it has absolutely exquisite packaging. I think it's really nice color. I really like this little um, red B here. I think that's nice. I think the Amagong logo right there is nice. Belgian style double. Very nice. Let's see what's going on back here. Very nice statement there. And remember, the most profound joy has more of gravity than of gaiety in it. Montagne. Very, very nice. Okay. So... Here is my Trappist glass. Uh, came with my nice gift set from St. Bernardus. I'm going to get a nice fiery bright behind that. Let's listen for the crack. Bright, clear, brilliant, deep amber with obviously a nice thick head and that nice thick head is a pretty bright tan. Let me uh, back up on this and Nice shot there. Yeah, so big, big bubbles. I'm not sure what that's about. Looks tasty. Looks very, very tasty. Let's see if we can get some. Uh, light to come through. Yeah, that's nice. Nice bright red. Beautiful. Alright. Well, there's me. <laughs> As instructed on the bottle, I'm going to take a nice uh, ginger hand with this. Oh, 
the aroma is very nice. Um, definitely what you would expect out of a Abbey Double. Definitely has the cloves, has the spices. Seems like there's some coriander in there. Uh, a lot of hay, some corn, um, fruity, lots of fruit, banana, cherry. A lot of mold, a lot of, um, I mean, not in a bad way. It's definitely got that sort of uh, cellared scent. Let's give it a taste. That is very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, a lot of cherry, a lot of fruit. Um, definitely has that Bruin uh, effect, you know, that sort of a little bit sour. And the finish coming up now is surprisingly bitter uh, for the finish. It definitely lingers. Um, it's got a rather, a rather uh, blunt hit. A whole bunch of fruit in there. Nice layered flavors. Uh, very wine-like. Um, it doesn't quite taste oaked, uh, but there are some woody notes there. I would love the opportunity to pair this with um, pumpernickel, rye, uh, some sort of pork, I think would go really, really well with this. It's got a very rich flavor. Um, very enjoyable, like everything I've ever had from Amagon. So, recommended. Um, I think that this particular batch that I got has been sitting on the shelf for a while. It tends to have sort of a chemical uh, note in it, and that's not the fault of the uh, brewery as far as I can tell. I've, I've had it from a fresher container, and um, it just seemed a lot brighter, uh, but I think this has been sitting around for a while. So I think that's uh, affecting my, my tasting, uh, but you can tell that there's quality underneath all that. So thank you, Amagong. Thanks for hanging out and listening, and we'll talk to you again real soon.